rates of reaction. We're going to look at the factors affecting rates of reaction in this video. They are generally five factors, nature of reactants, concentration, temperature, catalyst, and radiation. But we will be focusing on two aspects today, temperature and proper orientation. Two of the most important factors affecting the rates of reaction are energy of activation Ea, depending upon the temperature of the reactants, and orientation, because when molecules collide, they should possess the energy of activation, and if they have a proper orientation, they can easily change into products by forming an activated complex. Then we say the collision is an effective collision. Let's look at a graphical representation of the effect of temperature on reactions. On the y-axis, we have the enthalpy change. On the x-axis, you have the reaction coordinate. You have the reactants. You have the product and the energy values. And we see that the reactants are separated from the products by an energy barrier. The reactants should absorb enough energy to overcome the energy barrier. And the numerical value for the energy barrier will be referred to as a threshold energy. The difference in energy between the threshold energy and the reactants is called energy of activation. If you know the energy of the reactants and products, you can also calculate and predict whether the reactions are exothermic or endothermic. We are going to look at a reaction between hydrogen and iron and see how orientation plays a big role in forming the products. Molecules can collide in more than one fashion. Two other extreme cases would be one in a linear fashion. If this is the type of collision, the likelihood of forming a complex or activated complex is limited. On the other hand, if they collide like this, they can easily form an activated complex. This activated complex is a molecule that has very high energy, quite unstable, has a very short existence, and it can easily decompose to give you the products. And in this case, you will get the hydrogen iodide. Now let's just compare the graph with the reaction that we had seen, which has a proper orientation. The reactants with an appropriate energy, when you increase the temperature, they absorb the energy of activation and they undergo a collision to form an activated complex. The activated complex has very high energy. It's quite unstable, but it can easily decompose to give you the products. So two of the most important conditions for the formation of the products would be the reacting molecules should possess the energy of activation. And if they collide, having the appropriate direction or orientation, then it's quite likely that they will change into products. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't hesitate to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.